you know, I've had a real good time today. Like, super fun. But I think it's time we part ways. Okay, that was a nice way of saying you can let me go now. And you just be on your way. Do whatever villainy stuff you have to do. And I'll get back to my life. You know, being a regular citizen and stuff. <laughs> no, I'm not scared of you. Why would I be? Although you're a villain, you're... Well, you're not very scary. But I sought to be cautious. Because like I said, you're a villain. So even if you're not scary, I still see you as a monster. <laughs> you weren't expecting that, were you? Well, there you go. There's my opinion. So, thanks for... I don't know, saving me or something. But I gotta get going. Okay, this is when you let me go. No, of course you don't want to let me go. Like I said, you're a monster. Oh, now you want to let me go. It's super fun. I love this little mind game you're playing. But I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I'm, I just want to go home. No, of course you don't want me to go home. You want to talk to me. Okay, what is it? You want to use me to get to the hero. Not because I know the hero. Because I don't. But because I'm just a helpless civilian. You need someone to... I don't know, make the hero feel like they have to save me, or I don't know what your game is. So go ahead. You have the floor. Talk. What are you doing? <laughs> it looks like you're trying to lean against something, and there's nothing to lean on. Hold on. <laughs> are you trying to act cool? Okay, I shouldn't be laughing at you or poking fun at you. But maybe just try standing. Or if you're tired, try sitting. Don't try to lean on an invisible wall. Unless that's one of your abilities, like a mime. Although if you were a mime, you'd be quiet. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't talk that way to you. You're evil. Oh, I'm sorry. You're not evil. Okay, yeah, I'll take your word for it. You're just awkward. And that's just all the motivation you need to... What? Be a villain. <laughs> Fine, I'm listening. You know, when I say I'm listening, that's when you start talking, not opening and closing your mouth like a fish out of water. Oh, I apologize. I'm being rude. Well, this isn't how I saw my day going, so I'm sorry if I'm a little irritated. Oh, really? Why should I be grateful towards you? Please, just enlighten me. And stop trying to lean against something invisible. There's nothing here. Now, explain yourself. Or are you delusional? Oh, you, you saved me. From what? Earlier. You j that doesn't explain anything. When you found me, I was going grocery shopping, and you were yelling, and then you saw me, and... I don't know, you stopped yelling, stopped whatever it is you were doing, and then you grabbed me, and just... Here we are. 
Uh, it was a dangerous place. Fine. Why was it dangerous? What did you do? Uh, you don't want to tell me. Oh, because you don't want me to call you a monster again. Is that it? Oh, I don't mean to hurt your feelings, but I'm kind of growing tired of it. Oh, you have something to say. Fine. Just spit it out already. What? I'm sorry for interrupting you. I'm sorry that I keep interrupting you. I just don't want to be here. Thank you for saving me from whatever it is you're saving me from. Is that it? Is that why you wanted to talk? You wanted me to thank you. Oh, that's not it. Okay, we're going to be here a while. Will you keep trying to lean against something invisible? I'm just going to sit on the ground. Or I can keep standing. This isn't going to take all day, is it? Because I'd really like to get back to grocery shopping. Food. Hungry. Me. Uh-huh. Oh, you have feelings. That's wonderful. Monsters can have feelings. Anger. Hatred. Despair. Oh. Positive feelings. What's a positive feeling, in your opinion? Love? I would have said happiness, joy, or something. Excitement. If that's a feeling, yeah. But you're gonna go, you're gonna go with love. Okay. I guess loving villainy still kind of makes you a monster. Okay, now, it kind of looks like you're throwing a tantrum. I guess I should stop messing with you. I know how you feel. For some reason. Don't, don't act so clueless. I know you're not a moron. You love me. For some reason. I, I don't know. I thought if I acted dumb, you would just kind of ignore it. Maybe wait another day to confess to me. <laughs> okay, listen, villain. For some reason, every time we're in the same place, you feel the need to save me. And every time, I call you a monster. Hoping that maybe, I don't know, you'll fall out of love with me. But so far, it's not working. So... Yeah, I know. What now? <laughs> what do you expect? You just want me to fall to my knees, grasp at my chest, and just close my eyes in awe that the villain could fall in love with me. This isn't some romance story. You're bad. That's why you're the villain. And I'm just a nobody. I shouldn't even be on your radar. But for some reason I am. So either ignore me, forget about this love, or, I don't know, stop being a villain. Do good. Be a hero. Or be a civilian. I don't really care. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't like it when people tell you what to do, huh? Well, if you want my attention, you're going to have to do better. But if you want to keep being a villain, then just forget about me. Let me go on with my day. Like I said, I'm hungry, and I was in the middle of grocery shopping be before you interrupted. Oh, uh, speechless. So I'm just gonna go. Don't follow me. I'm gonna go somewhere else for my groceries. This is the part where you let go of my hand. <laughs> what? 
Fine. I'll keep waiting. On what, though? <laughs> You'll do better. You're lucky you're cute. And, you know, I can kind of see some goodness within you. But maybe that's just me. I want to see the good in everybody. Or whatever cliche thing people say. So, keep being cute, do good, and let go of my hand.